As the sun was rising on the 4th of April Days and weeks and years have been by passing I was stuck in this no being too faithful So young and dumb I never learned it Hello my friend! Welcome to my channel! So in this video, I am finally going to share something I did not expect that I will be sharing someday and that is today. So who it, uh, who is, so whoever will be watching this, um, someone random or someone who happens to drop by here or maybe who is feeling the same way that's why you're watching this video or you could be a friend of mine and if you are <laughs> hi <laughs> okay here we go so i haven't told anyone about this except a few chosen friends like five or six of them from all of my friends so since we are talking about insecurities and this is the title of my video so as you can all see I am here in front of you guys with my bare face the only thing I have was moisturizer and just a lip tint so I could at least look uh, glowing in front of you guys right? can we just disregard that so so in this video, I'll be sharing about number one, the history from where it started and what I've gone through and number two, how did I overcome and finally accept it. So this video might be long for you to watch but if you are ready, please keep on watching. I have vitiligo. So I was told that I have the same skin condition the same as Michael Jackson had before that was as soon as I had myself checked by a dermatologist I had myself checked twice so I've heard some rumors and one of them told me that he either had his um, vitiligo spread all over his body as um, like he extended and allow his um, vitiligo to spread evenly that could be the main reason why he got very white so I came here in the Philippines around 2010 or 2011 and I was diagnosed with vitiligo around 2012 I hope that's okay now so at first I was told that I have an an in other word or other English term it's called tinea versicolor I hope I pronounced it right it is almost similar to vitiligo where the only difference is that an an has round white and light patches on the skin unlike vitiligo it's like pale white like what I have so nung nakita ng tita ko yung skin ko sa face she said that it's an an so she went out kumuha siya ng dahon sa labas and she told me to rub it on my skin para mawala or at least before it's too late so ginawa ko siya I can't remember kung anong dahon siya I think it was dahon ng ampalaya. So sabi niya basahin ko daw and make sure I rub it. So hanggang uh, nasira na yung dahon, ginaganon ko pa rin kasi gusto ko talaga siya mawala. So yung sa akin, it grows from here. So it went from here to here. I felt very conscious. I would always cover my face. Uh, with my hair just like this a girl with one eye or half face I would always look on the ground and hiniyaan ko siya for like two to three months sabi nila mawawala yung anant mo and that time hindi ko pa alam na I had vitiligo 
Di pa kasi ako check up. So they told me for me to get rid of an an, I have to do a uh, proper hygiene, maligo araw-araw, and my tita would always bring me new uh, leaves ng ampalaya every day so that I could rub it on my skin, but nothing happened. So, ayun, I went to my mom and I told her about this. And since mag ko lang dito, my mom told me to go to the nearest uh, clinic sa Maydagupan kasi doon ako nag-study ng college. I went to the nearest um, clinic sa my downtown um, and doon ako nagpa-check at para hindi ako mahirapan mag-travel in case na kailangan ko bumalik for follow-up or anything like that. And the name of the clinic was Nieces skin and face. Sabi ng tita ko, magaling daw talaga siya. Kaya trinay ko na rin. I think she was my second dot daughter. I think she was my second doctor. Kasi yung unang doctor na pinuntahan ko, hindi ko maalala ko saan. Nag-agree lang siya. Then she gave me some medications and let me go. So I feel hesitant naman. Kasi I don't know. I went to a good um a good place. It's like a big hospital. Magandang office. And she would just tell me, Yes, I agree. What you have is done and here's your medicine and you can go. So next second option ako, I went to this clinic. As soon as she saw my face, Sabinya, that's not an an. That's vitiligo. She said it with confidence. Vitiligo occurs when cells that produce melanin die or stop functioning. Depigmentation of the skin in severe cases or lose its color. The condition is not life-threatening or contagious. It can lead to serious psychological, social, and emotional difficulties. It can be stressful or make you feel bad about yourself. That is somewhat true. I forgot her name. She told me that I might have gotten that from stress. My immune system went down or too much sun exposure. That's the cause of having vitiligo. If not, I might have gotten that from my family, like from my mom's side or father's side. So she gave me this um, amazing cream. It has this burning effect. Totoo, my burning sensation siya. But bearable naman. Nakakakaba lang kasi I don't know what's doing. If it will spread ba or not. Pero ang galing kasi nabawasan siya and it stopped spreading after using that cream. So nabawasan siya pero may naiwan pa rin na white spots. I forgot the name of the cream. Sinubukan ko siya hanapin sa old convo namin ni mama but I couldn't find it at all. I have this um, Philippine map. I, I think you might not be able to see it. And that was years ago. So, hindi ko na maalala yung pangalan ng product. Me and my mom made a lot of research for vitiligo online. And there is actually no cure or no treatment for vitiligo. But there are actually several ways that work on other people and this is also what my doctor uh, told me I can either do a skin camouflage or makeup number two go on a session with phototherapy number three the pigmenting this could take for a year to complete this uh the pigmentation your natural skin to die and even your skin tone with vitiligo so it's like you force your skin to die just to make it pale white as the rest of your body i couldn't go with um phototherapy because it's too pricey or baka kasi by that time I felt like there's no hope for me to get rid of uh, vitiligo since I know that there's actually no cure or treatment for it not go with depigmenting or depigmentation because 
Um, malate lang naman to, and it has a size or the map of a Philippine, and hindi naman siya spread all over my skin. Kaya, it's just right here at the right side of my cheek. So, kung alam niyo lang, my mom was so worried about me. So, nag-search siya ng PDF file and send it to me through email para i-print out ko siya and makakapal yung mga print out ko. So, that cost me a lot. So, what's in there? Mga things that I can do or I can eat or cannot eat and mga activities that I cannot do. So, for example, there are some food I cannot eat. My mom wants me to eat only healthy and greeny food. Pero hindi ko kaya yun. So, ang ginawa namin, my meal has to be gulay all the way. And, um, since hindi ko kaya kumain ng gulay or switched into a vegetarian person, hindi ko talaga kaya kasi I'm a meat lover. And I love chicken, I love fish. Pinagawa ni mama is that mga sahog, like chicken breast, mostly chicken breast. She doesn't want me to eat anything else. Yung chocolate, bawal, uh, milk tea, anything that is sweet. Dapat very plain yung lasa. So I got really, really sick of the taste. Nag-worry kasi si mama baka daw lumaki ulit siya. Siguro dahil rin dun, ako pumayat. So it took me like just several months. Tapos biglang ang payat ko na. It's like I went on a dieting process, which is not part of my plan, pero ang payat ko na sobra. And you know, I crave with so many food. Naiinggit ako sa mga kaklasiko, yung ang sasarap yung mga kinakain nila, pero I'm just, gonna, I'm just going to just stare at their food, look at it, and eat what's mine. Until one day, sabi ko sa sarili ko, sabi ko, nakaka-stress naman to. So, naging pasaway ako and I did. I did not follow what's on the list. And the first thing that I ate after for so long was a chocolate cupcake. Of course, nagalit si mama. So, ayun, sabi ko sa sarili ko, maybe I can eat whatever I want as long as I have this positivity. I'm away from stress and I'm happy. Siguro that could help me. As uh, year goes by, thank God naman na hindi naman siya lumaki or naging negative effects. So I went back to eating whatever I like na. So my last option was makeup. Siguro natuto ako mag makeup after college. Or no, I think as soon as I got to work at Manila around 2016, on those years, I never realized na pumuputi na ulit ako. Siguro dahil sa mga whitening so, or capsules, mga ginagamit ko randomly, I was very desperate. Gusto ko talaga mawala siya. Gusto ko pumuti para akali. By that time, hindi na masyado halata. Ganon yung mga pumapasok sa isip ko. My new friends would ask me, but hindi ako magtali. Para maiba naman. Kahit init na init ako sa mga team building, hindi pa rin ako nagtatali at all. Kasi I feel very conscious, I feel very ashamed. I started working and dun ko na-enhance yung skills ko sa pag-makeup. Kasi ang daming mga Watsons, mga mall, napapashopping ako for makeup. It was very easy for me to experiment. I always go for makeup that is smudge proof or water resistant. One of the best makeup that works for me is either Maybelline or L'Oreal. But I will always buy Maybelline instead of L'Oreal because uh, mas mahal siya. It's like around 800 plus. So, what I would always buy, I would go for foundation, concealer, and loose powder. So, dapat, I have those type of makeup para it will blend well on my skin. And it actually took me 30 minutes to an hour to make it look as smooth as how it's supposed to be. So, imagine how many layers I have to apply just to make sure it evens on my left and right cheek together. So that is why matagal talaga ako magayos as in. So ayun, after all of those hard work, may nakapansin pa rin. Siguro after having those makeup on my skin for several hours, medyo nag-fade yung iba. Kaya minsan nag-retouch ako. But 
you know sometimes it's, it's really hard so one of my close friends noticed um the white patches on my skin she asked me ano yung puti na sa mukha mo then that's the first time ever na hindi ko na dinanay kasi before i would reason out nung malaki pa siya tapos kumakalat pa i would say na sobrang lang ako sa pulbo mga ganun and what a lame lie Ayun, I told her I have vitiligo and it feels so good that she acts like a normal thing like okay, ganun lang I have been using makeup so I have been applying those layers of makeup up to 2020 Nag-stop lang ako mag-makeup nung tumigil na kami mag-work on-site and we had to work at home So ayun I'll work from home and pandemic. The only thing I apply on my face every day, either face powder and lip tint. Yun lang. Until nasana ako. And you know, I was uh, surprised one day kasi lumabas ako ng bahay ng walang makeup para lang bumili sa tindahan. Jen lang, just like less than a minute away. Kaya I was really confident of going out and bumili ako. Siyempre, hindi ako nag- Pag-uwi ko ng bahay, the first thing I saw was the salamin. And I was surprised. Lumabas ako ng walang makeup. I was like thinking, wow, did I just really do that? Where did I get that? Tapos naalala ko, one of my friends, mommy ang tawag na kanya kasi she's a mother. But she is like a very close friend of mine. She was very surprised na lumabas ako without too much makeup. It, she was really surprised and she's proud of me though. Sabi niya, she's never seen me this way but she's really happy that I am now gaining my confidence because minsan nakikipagkwinto na ako sa kapitbahay or sa neighbor just next door nakataas pa yung buhok ko and nakaside yung hair ko sa ear and this is uh, what I have been hiding the whole time in all those years and I'm like thinking to myself like wow and it just feels so good or as I keep ignoring I almost forgot na meron ako. And unlike before, I had to apply multiple layers of makeup para pumantay sa left and right cheek. Lagi ako nag-worry every time if I lay on my boyfriend's shoulder kasi baka mag-transfer yung makeup ko. And, and that has been always my problem kasi mahilig siya mag-white. <laughs> It just feels so good to be out of my chest. Especially, look at me. I'm, I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you guys about it. And also, I ako na dalawang group sa Facebook. And after joining that group, I really felt that I am not alone who have this problem or this skin problem. The first group was Vitiligo Support Philippines. And dito lahat ng mga Pinoy, mga nagtatanong, humihingi ng advice, especially sa mga uh, first timers. And dami ko nakikita and I I just can't imagine. And recently, I found this dude or this guy. He joined this group and nalaman ko dahil he's wearing his t-shirt and yung background ng university namin. From what I noticed, he has a bit of like on his face. I think it's like somewhere here. And he was not ashamed at all. He posted a picture of him and he's actually proud of it. Tapos na ko, why? How come? How come I did not have that confidence? Why didn't I love myself and accept myself from the start? Edi sana, I've had a wonderful college experience. But siguro nga, like bloomer talaga ako. And siguro, during that time, people who were around me were not happy sa nangyari sa akin. Kaya siguro, nasa mindset ko, I feel ugly, disgusting, and this is very bad. I thought that this is a very rare case, and why did it have to happen to me? Like, why me? And the second group is permanent pigment removal for vitiligo. Again, there is no treatment and this cannot be cured. Ito naman is for the people who has vitiligo almost everywhere on their body and has less of their actual skin this is an international group people that come from other countries so on that group people rely on one cream which is this one it has helped everyone who has vitiligo it 
takes months to a year para pumantay, ito naman, pinapatay na yung melanin or yung actual skin mo and it would turn into white just like the other white patches. So like what I mentioned a while ago, this is what they call the de-pigmenting or pigmentation. It's like a clean white skin, not fair or pinkish, white or ivory type. It's plain white. And I did not want to go through that unless I have it all over my body. And if you are a vitiligo patient as well, and you're watching this thinking that I should have joined this group years ago. If only I've seen this and realized I am not the only one who have this. I'm not alone. I'm not ugly or creepy. Maybe I would have enjoyed my life without feeling insecure and true story i am somewhat thankful that this pandemic happened because i learned to take care not only of myself but also of my skin and this made me realize to finally accept myself don't forget to hit the bell button and subscribe because i will be uploading a second video this time i'll be talking about my skincare routine as a vitiligo patient and i hope you like this video and if you did hit like i have to let you go now my friend thank you for watching and see you on my next video yay bye bye